All right, guys, so today's uh, CrossFit Ring Town at Home program is going to look like this. We're going to start our warm up off with a five minute run. So we have two and a half minutes out and two and a half minutes back. After that, we're going to have two rounds of 10 alternating lunges, 10 A frame toe touches, and then we have 10 Russian baby makers. Now, on the alternating lunges, we'll have our athlete take a nice long step out, keeping their torso nice and upright, and then driving back to neutral, and we'll alternate 10 reps there. On the A-frame toe touches, the athlete will be down in a push-up plank position. The athlete will then go ahead and raise her hips, take her hand back to her toe, come back to neutral, and then switch sides. So each time you touch your toe is one rep. After that, our Russian baby makers will be in our squat stance. So the athlete will be in a shoulder to hip width stance. We'll have the athlete go down, grab their toes, and bring their hips down as low as they possibly can, raising their hips back up, stretching out the hamstrings, and then lowering the hips back down through the knees. So we'll have 10 reps there. After that, we'll have a two minute Spider-Man hold on each side. So the athlete will go into a long lunge step here. The back leg will be nice and straight. The athlete will lower themselves down as low as possible, potentially getting the elbow down to the ground and holding that. If you want, if your hips are a little tight, you can oscillate back and forth. You can even take your hand and push your knee outward. Give yourself a nice stretch. So we'll hold for two minutes on one side, two minutes on the next. For our net clean or our workout today, we have a benchmark workout called the Chief. So what that's gonna look like here is we have a three minute amrap of three power cleans. Uh, our X weight here is 135 pounds for the men, 95 for the women with a barbell. Then we have six push-ups and nine air squats. Uh, after each round, or I'm sorry, we'll have five rounds of this. After each round, we will have a one minute rest. So you'll have a three minute AMRAP, three power cleans, six push-ups, nine uh, air squats, resting one minute, and you'll repeat that five times. Now for program B, which is gonna be our modified equipment uh, version of this, we have a three minute AMRAP of four alternating dumbbell power cleans. So this is gonna be a single dumbbell. You'll have six push-ups and nine air squats. Same thing, you will rest one minute and we'll repeat that for five cycles. Uh, program uh, C is gonna look like this. So this is gonna be our no uh, equipment, all body weight. We have a three minute uh, AMRAP. We have four odd object power cleans, six push-ups, and nine air squats. Same thing, you'll rest one minute after each round, and then we have five cycles as well. Now, if we move over here, for our barbell power clean, the athlete will go ahead, grab their barbell. So we're gonna use an empty barbell here. The barbell will start off on the ground. The athlete, from the uh, mission. So the athlete will then proceed to come up, and power clean the bar up to her chest, all right? Now, on the alternating dumbbell power clean, the athlete will have one single dumbbell. The dumbbell will start off on the ground. She'll power clean it up to her uh, shoulder, bring it back down, switch sides, and that's two reps there. Now, on the odd object, you can grab anything that you want. So right now we're gonna use a gym duffel bag so you'll grab the sides of the duffel bag, power clean it up to your shoulders and back down. If you don't have this, a regular backpack will work. You can even use a uh, gallon of pine saw if you want. Now for our rig work or our accessory program, today what we're gonna do is we're gonna learn how to properly load. So we have five sets of tempo, or five, I'm sorry, five sets of five reps of tempo of goblet squats. Our tempo is gonna be five seconds eccentric, so lowering, a three second pause, and then a five second concentric, which is the raising portion. So our athlete will grab a dumbbell in this case. If you don't have a dumbbell and you're using our body weight program, you can use anything that weighs, or something heavy. Uh, so the athlete will be in the goblet squat position. Um, so we'll count. So one, two, three, four, five. She's reached the bottom position. One two, three, and then we'll five second raise. One, two, three, four, five. What we're looking for here is a nice upright chest. Her core is nice and tight. Her knees are tracking outside of her toes and she remains in that position throughout the duration of her squat. Now, our next thing we're gonna do is uh, five sets of 10 reps. We have RDLs uh, with a tempo. 
So we're gonna have that five second eccentric, which is the lowering phase. So for instance here, we'll have the athlete grab the head of the dumbbell. Again, if you're using something else, you just grab it as, uh, in this fashion as best as possible. So on the RDL, what we're looking for is a soft knee. We're gonna uh, drive those hips back as our chest comes forward. So five seconds on the way down, and as soon as she reaches that five second point, she's gonna drive straight up, raising her chest up, and that would be one rep. So we'll do five sets of 10 with a five second eccentric loading phase. 